good morning or good evening and welcome back to the real flipping deals today i'm super excited because i got my very first ever wholesale ninja box so i haven't opened it yet we're gonna open it together and see what came inside all right so let's get this opened and see what we got Again, I've never gotten one of these boxes before, so I'm super excited. I'm super, super excited to try this out and see what we got. Let's get closer to you guys. We got some face masks. Different face masks here. Some lip gloss, some Essence Shine 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 lip gloss. We've got some Candyland hand sanitizer. That's kind of cute. Got some um, secret deodorant, old spice deodorant, and fresh speed stick. A bag of makeup. A SpongeBob SquarePants headband. And we will go through the makeup in just a second. Some triple older defense deodorant. Another fresh speed stick. A cl Clubman Finest Powder. Um, beard Serum with Grow Teen. Got two of those. Another stick of deodorant. Headband. A headband. The bamboo toothbrush, some Zarbies cough syrup. There is actually two of these. Um, they are still good through 2022. Some shave gel, pure Gillette shave gel. 3D crest whitening toothpaste. more things of secret deodorants oh they're in different scents this one's coconut scent this one's lavender and eucalyptus groom and clean greaseless hair control some cute little monopoly and a lip gloss hand sanitizer slash lip gloss some more zarby's cough medicine Some Neutrogena Healthy Skin and Eye Cream. Colgate Toothpaste. And six of these Cough and Cold Medicines. A Power Rangers Hand Sanitizer and Lip Gloss. My Little Pony. A Cliosis non irritating rinse, a mouthwash, I'm gonna do the makeup in a minute. I do see some of that leaked, so another bamboo toothbrush, a body waxing strips, some bulldog face wash, some shave cream. So two shake creams and a bulldog face wash in here. Let's 
says L'Oreal something. L'Oreal mascara, this says. Okay, okay. So in this box, there was these three L'Oreal mascaras in there. Some Dove soap. A Breon shaver, which I sell these a lot, so this is great. I'm going to take the makeup out, and then there's a big box. I have another thing of hand sanitizer kit. Great. So let's adjust you guys down. Okay, cool, cool. So this is going to be our leaking stuff, I'm assuming. Some other reviews and videos I've watched. It is, it is. Okay. We've got a Colgate Zero Fresh Breath. You are too low now. Alright. There's a little bit on this, so I'll have to clean it off, of course, but some pure Gillette soothing. Um, I've got one, two, three of those. Three of these. One. Oh, these are different, so I'll go through those individually. Some Ole Rinse Off Body Conditioner in Coconut Oil with B3. Then I have a, another one in Sheer Butter Plus B3. A B3 plus a vitamin E. A Hemp's Triple Moisturizer. A Prebiotic Moisturizing Hand Soap, Tom's Brand. Irish Spring Body Wash in Black Mint. Some Acne Control Daily Cleanser Tea Tree. Some Harry's Face Wash. I've heard this Harry's brand is good, but we have never tried that. Some Junior Watkins Foaming Hand Soap. Some LOL Hand Sanitizer. Some Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Some Old Spice Ultra Smooth Fresh Start Body Wash. Some Dove Instant Foaming Body Wash. This one is open as you can see. It's Oh, it's not open. It's not open. So I can still sell this one. Some Olay gin Crushed Ginger. Some Glowing Mango Butter and Almond Butter Body Wash. And then some Ole Hydrating Glow. That was everything in this little box. Now we're going to go over the makeup that was in that bag. Right? See Ellie right here. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we have a L'Oreal Popmatic. I'm trying to see what color. Bright white eyeliner. We have, ooh, this is pretty. What color? This is Nectarine Plump Color Rich Plump and Shine from um, L'Oreal Paris. It's the color, it's really pretty. And then we've got some brown eyeliner some more brown eyeliner some volume in, volume voluminous x fiber mascara 
Then we have some Rosique Rose lipstick here. This is the color it is. Oop. There it is. Then we have some L'Oreal Infallible Longwear. Some L'Oreal Longwear Shaping Stick in the Sand Sable color. Looks like this little tube. Um, some more L'Oreal lipstick in the color Coconut Plum. That's the color on the bottom, and that's what it looks like inside. Some more Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This one has some leakage on it, so I'll have to clean that. But this one is Snap Scara from Maybelline. Some more L'Oreal. Uh... Patea Plump, it's this color here, this color, and it looks like this inside. Um, this one is the one that leaked, I found the one that leaked. And I do know with um, Wholesale Ninja, they asked for you to give them a 5% damage rate, so this one little item is a-okay. We'll set it to the side. Then we have us. Some Les Chocolates Scented Perfume, but this is liquid lipstick. This is a very pretty color. Very, very pretty. And then I've got some L'Oreal Paris um, Eyeshadow. This one's kind of dirty because it's got some of that foundation on it, but I will get that cleaned off, of course, before listing. L'Oreal Pro Matte. It's in Sun Beige, which is the powder. And another powder in Sun Beige as well, so two of those. A new. Oh, this one is Naked Coral. This one's really pretty. Um, I'm not sure the brand of this one, but this is the color it is. And you can't really see in there, but. Some more eyeshadow. We'll probably lot the eyeshadows up. Here's another one. Shiny silver. If you could see it, it'll focus. There you go. Another liquid lipstick. That one's gonna be some bright bright. Um this color is He Thinks He's Mate Cho can't see it in there but it's that color um at the drop of met by l'oreal and again has some foundation on it that i will get cleaned off that is the color can't see in here's one you can see in though and this one is nectar plump which you guys already saw so i have two of these So another one, this one is another Nectar Plump right here. Some, ooh, that's a pretty eyeshadow right there. That'll go in with that lot. Um, this one is Honey Pink Matte, which you can't see in there. Or you can kind of see, not really, but, you know. Naked Coral, which you've seen that one again, and it's, of course, got some makeup on it. And then, the last three things in this bag. But, ooh, some blue mint plum. This one right here is beautiful. Look at that. That is a very pretty color. And then we've got two, oh, two different colors, but L'Oreal, the Stick Sculpting Lounge, and in the color Cherry Dimension, and gold is cold colors here this one i would like a lot this one's kind of dirty i gotta clean that is it for my wholesale ninja box i am going to get listing this and see if i made my money back if i made money and if so how much and i will insert that into this video i was all in on this box 191 dollars do you think that there's profit in this box should i buy another box 
we will see. Let me know what you think about this box and we'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole Sun Ninja unboxing. I was excited about it. I'm not extremely disappointed. However, I'm not sure I will be making $191 back on this box, but time will tell and you guys will find out at the end of this video. All right, so it is the next day, but I wanted to finish this video. So, was the Wholesale Ninja box worth it? I spent $191 all in for 100 items on the HBA box from Wholesale Ninja. Was it worth it? The answer is no. I will not make my money back. With that being said, this is a breakdown of how much, every what everything was, which y'all saw in the video, how much I can sell it for, and how much I'm going to make. Now then, I did end up with a total of $676.31. You might be thinking, well, you're making money, you only spent $191 on the box. You were correct. But, I needed to make $700 on this box to even break even how you might be wondering that's simple so a lot of these items are five dollars and ninety cents six dollars and fifteen cents five ninety eight four ninety nine six forty four ninety I would have needed to average seven dollars an item to break even now then with that being said seven dollars an item to break even these items that are selling under that the lowest shipping cost, and the lowest, and that's if it goes somewhere close by, is $3 and I think 41 cents. That leaves me, after fees and shipping, only a dollar and some odd cents per item. I needed to make at least a dollar ninety per item to break even. I will not break even on this palette. I did not get enough big stuff that's worth enough to sell. To make my money, I didn't get enough of the same items to bundle, to ship, so to have a lower shipping cost. Would I recommend buying this? No. Would I recommend you buying more than one box and trying it that way? That's up to you. I personally would not just buy one box from Wholesale Ninja again. That is my review. That is my honest opinion. I hope that it helps you and... Don't just buy things because other people are sponsored by them on YouTube.